Hello, Internet. My name is Robbie Hyde, and we are going to talk about running Niagara in Ubuntu. For the first time ever, Niagara 4.11 supports Ubuntu out of the box. Here is the news from Niagara showing the support for Ubuntu desktop and server version 2004. Now, I've been using 2004 for a long time. It's great, and I'm very excited. In a couple of months, we're going to see the next long-term release, which is called Jammy Jellyfish. And I'm very excited about Jammy Jellyfish. And even though it has not yet been released, I'm going to show you guys how to install Niagara 4.11 supervisor, server, workbench, all the goodness into Ubuntu Jellyfish. First thing you're going to need is a copy of the Niagara 4 supervisor for Linux. And I got this from my vendor. Uh, and um, if you need a copy, reach out to me. I'm going to go ahead and download this from Google Drive and save it to my computer as a zip file. Nice, fast internet. Don't waste any time. Just crank up the volume. And then once that's finished downloading, I am going to extract that zip. So let's go into downloads. And there it is. And I might make a directory in here. So make directory n411. And I'm going to move that zip into uh, that directory n411. OK. And I'm just going to do that so that when I unzip this, and I'll just use unzip. There we go. Now we unzipped it. So unzipped. All right. Now I've got these. I've got an install and a readme that I could take a look at. If I take a look at install, I'm going to broaden this up a bit. You'll see that it's telling you to install Niagara, you uh, set your work, your current working directory to that directory, to that of the directory that contains install.sh, uh, install.sh, and enter the following at the prompt, sudo bash install sh. Okay, well, we are talking about this right here. So we're already in that directory. That's install.sh. But when we go to load uh, in, install sh, uh, it's going to throw, it'll fail. Why don't we why don't we do it just to just to see sudo bash uh, install dot sh and so the installer cannot continue sorry the installer is closing S consult technical support Niagara four installer has detected you are not running a supported Linux distribution version that's because uh, Jellyfish version 2204 is not version 2004. It's too new. And so how are we going to get 4.11 to play in the too new flavor of Ubuntu Jellyfish? Well, we're just going to modify this installer. So if we uh, look at the directory the install.sh is in, there's another file called install common, install undercore common.sh. And um, you just need to edit this with a text editor. So uh, I'm going to use VS Code, maybe. We'll see if that works. Um, VS Code install underscore common dot sh. Let's see what we find in here. Oh, I don't have VS Code installed. So uh, actually, I think it's just code. Let's see. There we go. And. Now we get all that nice, colorful VS Code goodness. So what we're looking for in here, and I'm tempted to just use a find and replace, uh, let's see, is, let's do a find and replace. Edit, find, and I'm going to search for the version 20.04. 
and there it is version 2004 and I'm gonna do a replace uh, and we're gonna change it to 22.04 because it's 2022 not April and we'll say and I'm, there is only one instance of it but I'm gonna say replace all of the instances and so you see it changed right here um, and I'm just going to save this file, save, and we're done. We're done with VS Code. You could have used Emacs, Notepad++, V, I think Ubuntu ships with Nano, whatever you like. You just need a text editor. And now that we've edited the text, we will try again to sudo bash the install. And we will get another error. And the error is going to be that we are missing this from DOS. And so we're going to need to install that. It's just that what we're going to install isn't actually called from DOS. It's uh it's called Frodos. And it's called it's actually called to Frodos. So we're going to use sudo apt and install to Frodos. And this helps with text that's formatted nicely for Microsoft MS-DOS working in Linux and back and forth. Uh, so now that that's installed, we should be good to do our bash install. And this time we're going to get the license agreement. And now we got a couple of questions to answer. Uh, like, did you read this license agreement? Are, are you reading it? Did you read it? Because you should read it. And then when you get to the end of reading it, you're probably going to get did you read this license agreement? And yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, enter the absolute path of the directory. I'm fine with the default, which is slash opt slash Niagara slash Niagara and the version number 4.11. So we'll take that default. The directory doesn't exist. You want to create it? Yes, we do. Would you like to configure which users? Sure. Yeah, I'm only going to use this user. Enter the username. This user is called int mech for interface mechanics. Okay, user accepted. Would you like to add another user? Nah, just that one. Do you want to install the Niagara Daemon as a startup service? Oh yeah. And do you want to install GNOME desktop shortcuts? <laughs> oh yeah. Do you want to install GNOME, de GNOME desktop shortcuts for the current user? Yeah, yep, I do. And do you want to install the supervisor documentation? Of course, documentation. Do you want the supervisor to be used as an installation tool? Uh-huh. And please verify these settings. Mm, looks pretty good to me. All right, let's do it. So now we're actually installing Niagara 4.11 into Ubuntu version 22.04. And if everything works out, we're going to get a thank you for installing. And now it's there. And so uh, this is probably not going to work until you log out and then log back in again. And so I'll just do that right here through the GUI. Let's log on out and log right back in. Now, I like GNOME. I like to use the favorites over here. So I'm going to go find the Niagara console now that it has been installed. And I will click activities and search for the Niagara console with just searching for console. There it is right there. And you can already see Workbench sitting right next to it. I'm going to add this to favorites. I'll probably add this to favorites too. Why not? And you could just launch Workbench right from here. However, I like to launch Workbench and the Java developers that work with Niagara will tell you this. I like to launch Workbench like this, uh, just WB from the Niagara console. And the reason is that if you had issues, you would see what those issues were right here in the console, which can, can be really handy when you're first trying to figure things out or forever. So now it's checking to see, do I have a license? I don't know. Do I, do I license this machine? If you get this far and you need licenses, 
reach out to us. We'll give you a hand um, checking the license server. So if you're online, you, the system will confirm it'll phone home. So this machine is now licensed. Excellent. And uh, if the machine is not online and you need a license, you can download a file from Niagara Central, install it on the machine, and away you go. Now, that is it. That's as far as I'm going to get. This is your Niagara 4 uh, workbench up and running in Ubuntu version 2204. Keep it short and sweet. And uh, if you like what I'm up to here, give me a like, maybe subscribe. If you want to see more stuff about open source, <laughs> closed source, where Niagara meets Ubuntu, that kind of thing, uh, leave me a comment. Uh, leave me a question in the comments. Be happy to answer and uh, take care.